So you're thinking about an ex, an ex-girlfriend. You're thinking about her and maybe you're giving her a call once in a while and you're chatting about the old days or something like that. <laughs> oh brother, you're in trouble. I'm here to tell you, you are in monster trouble. Yeah, because what happens is that we all go through a phase of being nostalgic for an ex-girlfriend, okay? Whatever the ex-girlfriend was, what, whatever the reasons. Well, here, let me point out something obvious, right? See, if you broke up with her, you're going to feel nostalgic for her. If she broke up with you, you're liable to be carrying a torch, okay? This is different. I'm really talking about the times that you've broken up with some girlfriend, yeah? You broke up with her. Maybe it was mutual, maybe it was like a scene, whatnot, right? But you broke up with her a few months or maybe a year or two or three even pass and you're nostalgic. You're nostalgic and you're thinking, oh, those were the days when I was dating her and you call her up and you're thinking about her. You got to ask yourself why you're nostalgic for your ex. Actually, without even knowing you, I can tell you right now that there are two reasons why you'd be nostalgic for your ex. Number one, you got nobody in your life. You got nobody in your life, and maybe as of late, you've been very unsuccessful with women. Yeah? You've been unsuccessful, you know, you try picking up girls, and it's just not, uh, not working out. You're going through a cold streak, right? Which is perfectly normal. It happens all the time. It happens to basketball players, and it happens to guys picking up girls. It happens in everything in life. Business, career, basketball, football, girls, whatever. We go through cold streaks and we go through hot streaks, right? You're going through a cold streak, you're, 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 you're getting, you know, just failing every time you talk to some girl and you start thinking to yourself, well, you know, it worked out so well with that ex-girlfriend that I broke up with. Why did I break up with her again? Oh, maybe I should give her a call. Mm -hmm. That's one reason to call up the ex-girlfriend. Yeah, and the other reason to call up an ex-girlfriend is because you are with somebody now, but that person that you are with is just not satisfying you for whatever reason, okay? She's not satisfying you and you're unhappy in the relationship. Unhappy to the point where you start thinking about the previous girlfriend. And you're just thinking about the previous girlfriend and waxing nostalgic about her and thinking about her. And of course, you're thinking about only the good things because that's the point of nostalgia. When you are in a, a, a fog of nostalgia, you only think about the good times. You only think about the laughs you had. You never think about the times that you know you wanted to just tear your hair out. You never think about the times that she was just this stone cold bitch to you or just made your life miserable. No, you think about the times that you had that great sex. You think about those romantic times when you went to the park. You, went, you think about those funny things that happened when you were with your friends at the bar. Yeah, it's, it's only the good things. And so it happens a lot of times that when you're alone, you get nostalgic for the ex, or when you're with a girlfriend who's just not doing it for you, not ringing your bells, right? Those are the two times you get nostalgic for the ex. Now, what do you do? Well, the first thing you do is realize that you're getting nostalgic for, you know, stupid reasons, okay? Or let me phrase that. You realize that you are being nostalgic because you are unhappy with your life now. That's the first thing you have to do. Recognize that the only reason you're thinking about the ex-girlfriend is because right now your life is just not going like you'd like it to go insofar as women is concerned. I mean, remember, you broke up with her. You broke up with her, with the ex, and there must have been some pretty good reasons, right? Maybe she cheated on you. Maybe she was crazy. Maybe she was this, that, the other. It doesn't really matter, but you probably had good reasons. I'm assuming you had good reasons, right? So. When you start waxing nostalgic about the ex, maybe reaching out to her, maybe getting together with her, maybe hooking up or a little roll in the hay, right? You have to stop and remember, why was it that I broke up with her? You gotta stop and think about that really, really hard. Yeah, because the reasons that you broke up with her, well, they didn't change. Huh? More likely than not, the, those reasons are the reasons that you would want, not want to be with the ex-girlfriend today. Say that she had a bad temper or say that she was just whatever, it doesn't matter. Maybe she was just a whore who slept with everybody or just a nasty person. Or maybe she was just stupid or maybe, you know, you just didn't get along after a while, right? Whatever the reason, it doesn't matter. You have to consciously recall the reason that you broke up with the ex. You're going through this nostalgic phase, so you have to realize, why am I feeling nostalgic? Number one. And number two, 
What was it that led me to break up with her? Can you ask yourself those two questions? Why am I feeling nostalgic? What's going on in my life right now that's making me so unhappy? And what was the reason that I broke up with her back in the day? What was the, 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 the thing, the cause that made me realize that she wasn't right for me? You answer those two questions and right away, several things are going to happen. The most obvious, number one, is that you're no longer going to feel nostalgic for the ex-girlfriend. You're going to realize, oh yeah, that was the reason I broke up with her. And do I want her in my life again? No, 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 I don't want her in my life again because when I broke up with her, I broke up with her for very, very good reasons. Yeah, so I do not want a repeat of that, number one. And right there, the nostalgic will mostly die. And then you answer the second part. You ask yourself, what's going on in my life right now that I am so unhappy? And searching around, rummaging around in my past to find the solution to my current problems. Yeah, you figure out what's going on in your life right now. If it's simple, like for instance, you're just going through a cold streak with uh, girls and you don't have anybody in your life, you just realize, oh yeah, you know, I'm just lonely. It's, that's it. It's not complicated. And what will happen is that this, this realization that, oh, you know, I'm just nostalgic because I'm lonely, it'll, number one, kill the nostalgia, and number two, it will give you a certain equanimity. You'd be surprised, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll be feeling more relaxed about the situation that you're alone now, okay? Now, the other possibility that you're with somebody that's harder. That's a lot harder because if you are currently with somebody and that somebody is just not satisfying you and they're not satisfying you to the point where you're calling up the ex, then you have to face what's going on with your life right now. Yeah, because what happens a lot of times is that guys who are miserable in their current relationships and they reach out to their ex, right? They're just trying to avoid the problem that they have right now. They're just trying to avoid it and they're shying away from it. Sometimes they're acting in just flat out cowardly fashion of not confronting the problem, of not looking the problem square in the face, look it in the eye and try to solve it somehow. Either fix the relationship that they currently have or end the relationship that they currently have. They're taking, rather than taking the direct approach, the manly approach, the respectable approach, they're taking this passive aggressive way of like, okay, I have this relationship here, but I'm going to just fool around with my ex. And maybe by fooling around with my ex, my current relationship, my current girlfriend will find out about it and break up with me. Huh? I, you see what's going on? It's, it's the coward's approach to breakups. It's the coward's approach because the guy wants to break up with the current girlfriend. He's not happy with her for whatever reason, but he doesn't have the balls to just say, you know, we're done. So he brings in his ex to give the excuse, and a lot of times, the bastard, will bring in the ex to kill the current relationship. And as soon as that relationship is dead, he lets go of the, of the ex and moves on to a third girl, okay? I, it's pretty chicken shit, okay? I mean, I don't, how can I put this? See, I'm a pragmatist, but at the same time, you know, I don't believe in using people and, and fucking them over rather than facing the music, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you have a current girlfriend, you're not happy with her. Uh, just face it, face the music, break up with her and move on. Don't bring somebody else into the equation, you know, the ex. Don't bring in the ex to be the cause that you break up with the current girlfriend and then discard the ex like a used Kleenex and move on. Uh, that's low. Uh, that's low and a lot of guys do that. A lot of guys do that and I personally, I personally have never done that. Yeah. When I'm unhappy with the situation, I just say I'm unhappy with the situation and I break up and that's that. But you see, it's just, how can I put this? It's just low. It's as simple as that, it's just low and don't be that way. Yeah, because ultimately you have to understand that the people you are with, uh, you know, you got a girlfriend, a current girlfriend, an ex-girlfriend, you know, they're people. They're people and they have their feelings. And in life, you know, you don't want to be hurting people's feelings for no reason. Uh huh? Or, or, or in the case of an ex-girlfriend that you really don't really care about, but you're just bringing in her into the dance so that she can become the excuse for you to break up with your current girlfriend. You know, you're playing, you're toying with people's emotions. That's low. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's one thing you've got a girlfriend and maybe she's deeply in love with you, but for whatever reasons you realize that she's just not the right person for you and you break up with her. Yes, of course you're going to break her heart and that's sad, but it couldn't be helped. It's not something that you deliberately tried to do. 
But if you have a current girlfriend and you want to break up with her, but you're too chicken shit to do so, and you bring in the ex-girlfriend into the dance, right? And you get you the ex-girlfriend's hopes up, because after all, you broke up with her, right? You broke up with her, you get her hopes up, and then once the current relationship ends and her usefulness to you is over, you discard her, you break her heart a second time, that's fucking low. That's, that's low and don't do it. Okay, so I think I've covered this topic, so, you know, we'll leave it here. Take it easy, guys.